Hello students, today we are going to learn about the next topic in the chapter 3 that is classification of soils. Coming to the next topic, it deals with the particle size distribution uh, curve or the gradation curve and their uses. <music> We know that the particle size distribution curve is also known as gradation curve. This is very important bit which is representing the distribution of particles of different sizes in the soil mass. So the percentage finer is given by n then a given size is plotted as ordinate on the natural scale and the particle size as abscissa that is on log scale as shown in the figure. This is figure A log scale and natural scale and this is figure B. This is particle size and the percentage finer. So in the figure A, the particle size is decreasing from the left to right. It is decreasing from the left to right. Whereas in figure B, the particle size is increasing from the left to right. Here it is increasing. Okay, this we can see. Both the methods are relevant. The reader should carefully observe the horizontal scale of the particle size distribution curve. So in this text the particle size distribution is also shown in the figure B that is the particle size increases from left to right which is also the usual convention. So the semi log plot for the particle size distribution as shown in the above figures has the following advantages over the natural plots. What are the advantages? The soils of equal uniformity can ex exhibit the same shape which is irrespective of the actual particle size and as the range of the particle size is very high for better representation, a log scale is required. How do we grade the soils? The distribution of particles of different sizes in the soil mass is called grading. Grading is nothing but the distribution of particles of very different sizes. So the grading of soils can also be determined from the particle size distribution curve. So the below figure shows the particle size distribution curve of different soils like fine grain, gap graded, well grade, uniform grade and coarse grade. So a curve with a hump such as curve A, which is curve A, this one, represents a soil in which some of the intermediate size particles are missing. Such soils are called gap graded or can also be called as skip graded. See there is a nice hump. Coming to the flat ES curve, such as B. Let us go and see B. Where is B curve? Here. It is nothing but a very nice yes curve. Okay. The curve B is a representation of the yes curve, which represents a soil which contains the particles of different sizes in a very good proportion. Such soil is known as well graded or it can also be called as uniform graded soils. So when you are coming a, a curve like C, which is very steep, let us see the C curve. C. This one is very steep. Which will indicate the soil containing the particles of almost all the same sizes. So such soils are also known as uniform soils. So the particle size distribution curve is very important and also reveals whether a soil is coarse grain or whether it is fine grain. So in general a curve situated higher up and to the left that is like curve D. Like curve D. This is a curve D. Indicates a relatively fine grain soil, whereas a curve situation to the right side, that is curve E. See here, it is curve E. This will represent the coarse grain soil. So the uniformity of a soil is expressed qualitatively uh, by a term known as uniform uh, uniformity coefficient, that is Cu, which is equal to D60 by D10. What do you mean by D60? Nothing but the particle size such as 60% of the soil, which is finer than the size. And D10 will represent the particle size such as 10% of the uh, soil, which is finer than that size. So, this D10 size is also known as effective size. This D60 and D10 uh, sizes for the soil B are respectively 0 0.08 and 0 0.004 mm respectively. So how you will calculate CU? Just substitute the value 0 0.08 by 0 0.004 mm that is nothing but 20. So the larger the numerical value of coefficient, uh, uniform coefficient, the more is the range of the particles. So the soils with a value of CU which is less than 2 are known as uniform soils. Again sands with a uh, value of Cu of 6 or more are well graded. This ranges should be remembered and very important. The gravels with a value of Cu of 4 or more are known as well graded. 
generally uh, the general scope of the particles uh, uh, general shape of the particles as distribution curve is uh, described by another coefficient known as coefficient of curvature which is known as cc or the coefficient of grading that is the gradation that is cg cc is known as d30 square by d16 to d10 what is d30 nothing but the particle size corresponding to 30% of final so for a well graded soil the value of uh, d cc lies between 1 and 3 it may be noted that the gap grading of the soil cannot be detected by CU only. So, the value of CC is also required to detect that property. What are the use of particle size distribution curve? This particle size distribution curve is very important for coarse grain soils. So, the behavior of fine grain soils also depend on the plasticity characteristics, not only on the particle size. Its use for fine grain soils is very limited. So, the particle size distribution curve is used in the classification of coarse grain soils. And the coefficient of permeability of the coarse grain soil depend to a large extent on the size of the particles. So the particle size is used to know the susceptibility of a, a soil to frost action, whether it is uh, able to take the frost action or not. So the particle size distribution curve is also required for the design of drainage filters. How the drainage mechanism is being done in the type of soils the particle size distribution also provides an index to the shear strength of the soil so generally a well graded compacted sand has very high shear strength when compared to other type of soils and also the compressibility of the soil also be judged from its particle size distribution curve so a uniform soil is more compressible than a well graded soil also the particle size distribution curve is very useful in soil stabilization process and also for the design of the pavements because the design of pavements is very important and the particle size distribution curve will help uh, in designing the pavements. The particle size distribution curve may indicate the mode of deposition of a soil. For example, a gap graded soil indicates a deposition by two different agencies. Okay, so the particle size distribution curve of a residual soil may also indicate the age of the soil deposit, like how much time it took for the deposition. With increasing age, the average particle size decreases because of the weathering process, which is very natural. And this curve, which is initially wavy, will become very smooth and regular with the extent of time. Thank you.